India accounted for 14% of total weapons imports between 2011 and 2015. India remains the world's largest weapons importer over the five-year period, according to latest report of the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute. India is not known to export defense equipments. But in last two years, India under the leadership of PM Modi is trying to change that, with Make in India initiative. The idea is to design and manufacture in India and export it to other countries, which will bring in foreign exchange. Defence Minister Manohar Parika has set a target to raise India's defence exports to $2 billion in the next two years from the current $330 million. In this video, we will look into five products that India is exporting or plans to export over the next few years. Number 5 Okosh is a surface-to-air missile system developed by DRDO with contribution from 61 Indian public and private sector companies. It is an all-weather missile, enjoying high immunity against active and passive jamming, and is designed to kill adversaries at an altitude as low as 30 meters, to as high as 18 to 20 kilometers. The best part is that the RDO coordinated work with other agencies, including the users that is the Indian Air Force and Indian Army to produce this system. It has found takers among friendly foreign nations, such as Thailand and Belarus, which have shown and expressed interest in acquiring the missile system. Number 4 MCGS Paracuda built by Garden Reach Shipbuilders and Engineers, Kolkata for National Coast Guard of Mauritius is an example of successful export. India joined the elite club of warship exporters when GRSE delivered it to Mauritius on 20 December 2014. The contract was worth $58.5 million. The Indian government has already cleared export of 13 warships to Mauritius, which will be supplied over the next few years. This include two fast patrol vessels, FPVs, and 11 fast attack crafts. India also has agreed on supplying ships to Vietnam. The sale of at least four patrol vessels comes as part of the $100 million credit line for military equipments extended to Vietnam by India. The patrol vessels will be about 35 meters in length, 10 meters broad. These will have specialized aluminum hull, and will be used to patrol the waters close to the shore. Vietnam needs at least seven more such ships, and GRSE is expected to get the order for the rest of the ships as well. Besides, it is also in the race to export two light frigates, about 3,500 tons each at a total cost of 2,000 crore rupees, to the Philippines. Number 3 The HAL Light Combat Helicopter, LCH, is a multi-role combat helicopter being developed by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, for use by the Indian Defence Forces. It has now caught the eyes of African countries. According to a PTI report, India is in talks with certain countries in Africa for possible export of the LCH. Japan has also shown keen interest in acquiring the HAL LCH, after it became the first helicopter of its kind, to have landed at an altitude of 16,000 feet from the sea level. No other light combat helicopter has achieved this feat. Number 2 the BrahMos is a ramjet supersonic cruise missile, that can be launched from submarines, ships, aircraft or land. It is considered, to be the most deadly anti-ship missile. It is a joint venture, between the Russian Federation's NPO Machino Struainia, and India's Defence Research and Development Organisation, DRDO, who have together formed BrahMos Aerospace. Talks are an advanced stage with Vietnam for export. Negotiations are also currently underway with Chile, Brazil, South Africa, and Indonesia. Number 1 The HAL Tejas is a single-seat, single-jet engine, multi-role light fighter designed by the Aeronautical Development Agency, ADA, and Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL, for Indian Air Force. Sources said inquiries by foreign countries came during the Bahrain Air Show in January, the very first time that Tejas flew outside the country. As per the reports Sri Lanka and Egypt, have shown interest in the aircraft. 
Sri Lanka had recently rejected Pakistan's JF-17 aircraft built with Chinese help, and is now looking into Tejas. Egypt had last year signed a contract for 24 French-made Rafale fighter jets, and are interested in some multi-role light fighters. Interestingly, soon after the announcement of Tejas participation in Bahrain, Pakistan had withdrawn its JF-17 aircraft from the show, despite having paid the initial installment which ran into a few million US dollars. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting. Kindly provide your feedback in the comment section, this will help us improve.